All right, so I'm currently working on a 6L80 transmission out of a 2015 Chevy Silverado. And I wanted to share with you some upgrades that I do to the pump, which would be the pressure regulator valve, and to the valve body, which would be end plugs, clutch select valves, and TCC valve. All right, that comes as, I got a couple of kits coming. So pretty much what I'm doing uh, by installing these these upgrades, if you will, uh, preventing low pressure conditions, preventing high pressure conditions, which could crack your one, two, three, four clutch piston, um, preventing uh, solenoid performance codes and TCC chatter. So I'm gonna I'm doing the intro now. It's after hours, and I'm waiting for. I have my pressure regulator valve. I get this from Transgo. Three come in this in this kit, but I'm waiting for my other uh, kit with the clutch select valves and a TCC valve and my O-ring end plug kit. So between Transgo and Sonics, I do these upgrades every 6L80, 90 that comes through the door. So we're going to continue tomorrow morning because uh, again I'm waiting for uh, a couple more kits to come. And then I have some of the valves out and we'll look at the valves. Uh, everything pretty much is just drop in and it's, uh, it's real good stuff to do uh, when you're rebuilding these series transmissions. All right, so I'm gonna catch up with you guys tomorrow morning and we will continue and go over the upgrades that I do to the pump and the valve body. All right, so I got everything I need delivered to me last night in my overnight delivery. So I have my pressure regulator valve kit, which three of these come in the kit. This I had, and this is pretty much just a, a clutch select valve and TCC rake valve kit. And I have my Sonics end plug kit. All right, so let me go a little closer and we'll start with the uh, the valve in the pump, which is the pressure regulator valve, and then we'll move on to the valve body. So let me go a little closer and we'll begin. All right, so here first in the pump, we have the pressure regulator valve, and these valves are very prone to wear. Every one of them gets worn out. If you can see this one even right here, this is all worn out. Okay, so this section of the valve here is the outboard side. And when that gets worn out, it will cause low pressure conditions. And this is the inboard side, which will cause high pressure conditions, which can crack like a one, two, three, four clutch piston if you select drive and it happens to spike at that time. Okay, so the valve that gets replaced, this is the Transco steel valve. All right, and you can see the difference in the, look how long the lands are. All right, so even if the bore is worn out in one particular section, the long lands will grab on a different section and pretty much return this thing to the, what it should be, like the hydraulic integrity of the circuit. So this is an absolute must when you're doing these 6L80s. And this comes in with a kit that come three valves in a kit. So you have a, a spring seat and you have a new spring, and then you use the old bumper spring and boost valve. So these two get used over again. And then the setup will look like this when it goes in and then you put the retaining pin in. Okay, very, very important, every one of these things needs that I've had I've had one of these ones where I uh, I had road checked a car and the thing was slipping all over the place and the guy thought it was the computer and I asked him did you change the pressure regulator valve and he didn't so you know I says I don't think the computer is gonna fix it he thought it would so he got it I programmed it it didn't fix it and then he pulled it back out and this section here was this the valve was worn down to nothing i've never seen anything that bad before so uh, this is an absolute must when you do these 6l80s 
All right, so let's talk about here the lower section of the valve body. And let me just make sure everybody can see this here. Let me bring it down. All right, so here we got the clutch select valves. And in this kit, let's open this kit up. All right, here is the PCC. So here is the, they're both the same. There's two in the kit, they're both the same. So it doesn't matter which one goes where. They're right next to each other here. So that's what they look like. This is in one out of the valve body. All right, so these are steel non-stick valves. And what happens with these other valves is these valves can hang up in the bore and cause a 751 code. All right, there's actually a TSB uh, if you feel a drivability issue or the transmission slipping or wrong gear starts and you have a 751 code, the TSB wants you to check these valves to make sure these valves are free. All right, you know these converters go bad a lot in these 6L80s, which was this one. The converter goes bad, the crap goes throughout the whole transmission, clogs the filter, and it stops moving when it gets hot. So these valves here, these steel non-stick valves, I put in every one of these 6L80 series transmissions. And everything, you know, this, what's good was everything is dropped right in, and you can hear it bottom out and bounce. So that's uh, the way to go with these clutch and leg valves. There's also updated springs, all right, that come in this package. And what you have to do is when you read the instructions, they want you to look at the separator plate. They want you to look at the separator plate. If you can see this little piece here, if you have that, cut out in the gasket they want you to use the updated springs and on this gas on this even if it's a um, um, bonded or non-bonded it's right here okay so I will be changing the springs that are provided in the kit on both valves okay and then instead of putting the regular bore plug back in I'm gonna put the o-ring end plug in keep that uh, hydraulic, you know, seal so we don't lose any fluid there. So we got two of these clutch select valves. And then again, look at your separator plate because they're looking for this little notch cut out. And if you have it, they change, they want you to put the springs in. If you don't have it, you want, they want you to put the original springs back. Okay, and the last one here in this kit is the TCC valve. All right, that's it in the bag. It's a little bit of a different design valve, but again, it has the longer lands in it in case the bore is worn out. And the TCC chatter is pretty common in this, so that gets installed in this right here, in this uh, valve train. So I actually had one of these uh, a couple weeks ago that had a TCC chatter. And, you know, I did a basic overhaul. I put this kit in with this valve with the longer lands. We drove this thing, and, and the thing worked fine. And you'll get that shuttle like at low speeds. Uh, sometimes also maybe when it goes into that fuel management, um, you may feel something there too, but it's common on these 6L80 series transmissions. So this is a, th these are great upgrades to do. And, uh, you know, to really uh, put the uh, uh, hydraulic integrity back into the, into the transmission. They will shift real nice. So this is something I do on every one of these uh, 6L80, 6L90s that I, that I do. All right, and also this has its own, this valve has its own spring, this TCC valve. Let me actually open this. And of course the check walls, 
we change out to the tour line. So there is the new valve. Okay, then you have the little spacing here that goes in, and then you put the, the bore plug back in and, and the retainer. And you know, when you open this up, it comes through with, with these style check balls. So in the kits now, they do have the, the, I didn't even actually open my kit yet. It's here, but I didn't open it yet. Um, the Torlon style check balls, so they don't shrink down and cause any issues, blow through the plate, you lose your drive, uh, drive through six oil. And that's about it. So I just want to do a quick video on these upgrades that I do on the 6L80. And if you're building one of these, you know, I recommend to put these kits in it. It's, a, it's pretty good to, to, you know, protect your investment uh, doing this transmission. So I just want to share a couple things with you. Uh, let me show you real quick and then we'll close it out. Let me go get my... Uh, uh, banner kit. I'll just show you uh, what I got there. Uh, give me two seconds. I'll be right back. All right. I just actually wanted to go over the end plug kit. This goes into every 6L80 that I do. Um, so we got two for the clutch select valves. Then we got one, two, three, four. Uh, these bore plugs do tend to leak. So, you know, you have six end plugs and like, I think, nine O-rings in here. But if you're getting... Um, solenoid performance codes uh, you can have an issue with leaky bore plugs and even something with the clutch select valves so those are solenoid performance codes like uh, the, you know I, there's a TSB on the clutch select valves for a 751 um, these other codes here that can cause if these bore plugs are leaking could be like 2714 2723 codes like that solenoid performance codes all right, so again, and, and these bore plugs, you know, they, they come right out. I, I take the uh, retainer out and sometimes turn the valve body over and it, and it comes right out. So that's how loose they are in there. So very important to do those. And I just get Sonic, because that's what I've been getting for a while. But Transco also has end plug, O-ring end plug kits that you can get from them as well uh, if you were to purchase these other kits. Here is my banner kit. Backing out a little bit. Right here is my Transtech. Overhaul, all the goodies in here. All my pistons and these are everything is pretty much OE, OE stuff here. There's another piston, no go, and my Exidy. Even the filter, the filter that I get is AC Delco as well. So, all right, so that's it for this. Uh, this particular car again is a 2015 Chevy Silverado, and this came in stop moving when it gets hot, blown converter. So I'm uh, got the unit down and clean. Then I'm going to start rebuilding it. I'm going to do the valve body here and then go on to the drums, get this back together, and get it back in the car. All right, so I just want to share some things with you that I do to the valve body, and uh, that really should be done on all these 6L80s. I thank you guys for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you next one.